फर्स्ट नेम बोलो आपका नाम बोलो कुमारी बीती का मन जीवन दिया है दूसरों को जीवन दिया है इसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद से टोल दैट द सेंडिंग हर थैंक्स टू देम दो आर सेंडिंग मनी फॉर हिम दो आर सेंडिंग मनी फॉर हिम एंड गेव न्यू लाइफ टू हिम दैट इज वाई हिज एस ही सेंडिंग लव टू देम एंड एज वेल एज जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री राधे टू देम एंड now she is okay she is feel better she is participate in every cultural side as well as uh, sports side she can do anything yeah she can so do anything open heart operation yes yeah and it's a big success yeah 40 years ago these refugees lost everything centuries old estates and properties and were forced to flee from bangladesh to the indian refugee camps they were resettled alongside these tribal villages in the remote jungles of the bastar region chatisgarh given a few acres to farm and a 1 acre homestead plot they held on to their age old traditions and customs and started life in this very remote land psychologically speaking this terrible trauma could have defeated them so we would like to praise their courage and will to carry on despite the harsh jungle reality we first visited these forgotten people in 1994 and were touched by their rich culture and great kindness but also by their extreme poverty and great suffering all the villagers begged us for help and together we have successfully built a hospital and school on a 50 acre site donated by the adivasi people good morning how are you good on fine fine good on The school opened since 2001 teaches 250 students from kindergarten through to 13 years of age. The students are learning in Hindi and English medium and are exceeding in local examinations. A tribute to the hard work and dedication our teachers and staff supply. The Tulsi Trust needs your help. We need to build a sheltered assembly area for the students and we desperately need to finance a secondary school for our educated 13 year olds. On Republic Day the whole school comes together and the children dress up in different costumes. They march from one village to the next ending up at the playing fields where performances of dance, music and physical education are enjoyed by all. Public Day is a very proud day for the school, for teachers, pupils, their parents, and the other villagers. The planning and preparation for the display are met with enthusiasm and dedication.
it is, it is. At the, by this time here will be like this much water. It will be good to but this year because there is not raining, so many people lost their crops. And in future, because it means this summer really is not started yet. And it is four months more an Indian summer year. So this whole water will dry. So people will have I think in this 30, 40 years. This year it will be the major big problem they will see. Have you ever seen it this dry no, before no, no. ever? Not so early. It is when this crop hot, maybe for one week, sometimes then raining coming. So, but this time, four months is still having rain coming. So, I don't know this year's what will happen. Drinking water will be a big problem. Bathing, you forget life. Too. The Tulsi Trust has also been operating a clinic since 1999 as there is no national health service in India and 98% of the villagers have no income and medicines are too expensive to buy. At the Tulsi Trust we provide first class medicines usually free or at a reduced rate along with free consultations and blood tests. We also provide the only 24 hour free ambulance service in the area with our new ambulance donated by Festival Medical Services. This means if there is an emergency that needs further attention, the patient can be taken to another hospital up to six hours away along India's notorious roads. With endemic cerebral malaria, more often than not, the decision is taken that the infected patient must go to a fully operational hospital for emergency treatment. This brain malaria has in the last two years become more deadly and children are dying within three days of getting a fever. The victim suddenly worsens and only then does the family seek help, which can be too late and means a mercy dash to another hospital. Please help us with funding a fully operational hospital here within their own area where the patients can stay and get on-the-spot medical treatment. The Tulsi Trust needs your help. We need help with the monthly running costs and the much needed development funds. We still need to fully equip our hospital and to build a doctor's residence. At the moment, only some forms or stages of infection of malaria are treatable by our doctors. Dr. Adhikari, our BAMS doctor, is only trained to run a clinic. We urgently need an MBBS doctor who we can employ to run our hospital. Once we have a full team of medics and nurses, we will open an operating theatre and our wards will be fully functioning. Dr. Adhikari has a steady stream of patients six days a week. His main concerns are primary health care, malaria and women's problems. He also treats TB, dysentery, diabetes and snake bites and he encourages the villagers to come more rapidly for treatment, which is a big problem as fevers and stomach upsets can be a daily occurrence in some families. Gradually the villagers are realising that early treatment is vital as some fall ill with malaria four or five times a year. Sri Raman Bihari Das Babaji, the project director, and Dr. Zaga, our chief medical administrator from Raipur, will also be helping us work towards achieving a fully functioning hospital. Dr. Zaga is very well experienced at treating cerebral malaria and will work alongside our MBBS doctor to tackle this huge problem. Once we are fully operational and have opened our wards, the patients can then stay and be tended to rather than taken to the other hospitals. We also employ a much-loved homeopath, Dr. Binai, who has been with us for four years now, and he treats up to 60 patients a day, whilst also regularly visiting his patients at their homes in the five surrounding villages. We rely on the monthly standing orders and donations that we gratefully receive, and we are always in need of new donors. To get to the next level of progression, we need five to 10 years continuous funding to cover all the running costs, the wages for the school and hospital staff, the school supplies and hospital medicines, and the maintenance of the ambulance and school bus. Oh my God, Shri